Yeah, thanks, Andy. We're at the front of the MCG in the huge build-up to the Essendon-Richmond match. Dreamtime at the G just gets bigger and bigger, and I'm here with one of my ex-teammates and superstar, Michael Long. Thanks for joining us, Longy. It does get bigger and bigger, doesn't it? Oh, it certainly does, and uh, you only just saw today that it's, um, well, it's about 12 or 13,000 people. It's been fantastic, Lordy. And uh, it's in its seventh or eighth year now. How much money would you have raised over your time? Oh, look, we're, we're not too sure, but yeah. all, all the profits we do raise goes back into the programs that we run and our educational programs and uh, obviously our great sponsors and, you know, uh, Rich, Richmond and Essen Football Club. And it's about, I suppose, what, what we're trying to bring people together, really. And you have brought people together tonight, Longy, and in terms of Indigenous footballers, it is Indigenous round. Who is the greatest Indigenous football that you saw, aside from yourself, of course? Oh, you did say you, but um, <laughs> look, there's, there's so many, and uh, obviously we played uh, tribute to Morris Rioli, obviously his contribution, but, but there's so many, I mean, you could, you could, you could throw a net over, but uh, I, I suppose I just love what football has done to create opportunities, and I suppose it's broken a lot of boundaries, and, and uh, you know, just see that, that, like, I suppose you can't really um, put a measure on and how much, you know, the football, game of football has done for Indigenous people. And we've had Hurdy brought uh, Bomber Thompson back, he's brought Dean Wallace back, has he asked you to get back to Essendon? Yeah, well, he asked me to be his chauffeur, so, <laughs> uh, but I haven't got a license. Uh, <laughs> so long he can't be the chauffeur, but he has brought all the Indigenous people back here, back to you in the studio. Big night at the MCG here on Channel 10.